Right, so we're down in the woods. Um, I know you can't join us today, but uh, what I'd like to do is I'd like to do a bit of a skill session, really. So, um, how to do a very, very simple tree survey using nothing much more than a piece of string. Okay, so um, what we've got is we've got our piece of string, got some elastic bands, we've got a compass. But our compass isn't mandatory, we don't actually need it. Um, it's just to show you a couple of different techniques. And we've got our notepad and pen. So, and firstly, this is our piece of string. Our piece of string is cut to exactly one metre. This helps us with measuring and also um, making some of the tools that we're going to need. So, first of all, what we can make is this item. It's called a hypsometer and this one is a scale hypsometer so what it does is it measures distance okay so what we have here is we have this point now this is our measure off the ground and this part here is our actual hypsometer um, our compass will do a very similar function which i'll explain in a second but what we have here is we have a bar that is twice as long at the bottom as it is at the side. And what we do is we use our piece of string to measure this. So if I hold my piece of string here, put it through there, you'll notice that our piece of string is, is 0.5 metres that way. And then I fold it in half. 0.25 or a quarter of a metre up. So this is a scale of 2 to 1. So it's two times as long across the bottom as it is across the top. Now this stick here, which wants to be, ideally be as straight as possible, is our sighting stick. So when we use this in the field, we'll use this stick to sight with. And what we do is we hold our piece of string and when it touches the ground, that's our sighting point. And the idea is that we'll sight along our stick. And what we'll do is where we see the top of our tree, we measure to. And then what we do is we'll measure the distance from our hypsometer to our tree. And then we divide that distance by two and that will give us the height of our tree. We can also use our piece of string, similar way to a tape measure because we know it's a metre long. We can measure around a tree and we can either then fold it in half to get half metres, fold it into four to get a quarter of a metre, or we can mark on our tree with something like a stick or something that's non-damaging if we have to do multiple metres around the tree. I've used my elastic bands build the hypsometer. Um, elastic bands are great because they can allow us to fasten things quite quickly. We don't need string, we don't need to know any lashings. So it allows us to build this device very quickly. And then obviously our notepad and pen to record our findings. Um, so the, these items are very quick and easy to carry in our bags and we can build things quite easily. We just need a few sticks to build them. Our compass on our compass we have a couple of functions so I'll bring it closer to the camera so what we have is we have what we call our bezel and this is the round thing that we move we have two sighting points here and here and then inside the compass we have our direction finding needle this needle here so the little black needle that moves is called our inclinometer needle and that's used to find angles because if we hold it and we move the compass the inclinometer will always move to point downwards it will always move to point with gravity so what we can do and I'll bring this very close to the camera now and hopefully it will focus is that around the bezel we've got a set of numbers there are 360 degrees We can turn the bezel, and what we can do 
is we can set it to an angle so I'm going to set it to I'm going to set it to 45 degrees now what we do is we place it so that the inclinometer will move with a big red needle that means that our angle here 45 degrees so our angle here is 45 degrees we could then use that in a similar way to sighting our hypsometer and that will allow us to sight the height of a tree um, that's something I learned off Joe Price he's a very no knowledgeable um, bushcrafter um, now it only works on certain compasses only certain compasses have that feature but that's a really handy feature of that compass but you don't have to have a compass to do that what you can do is you can build um, a scale hypsometer like we've shown you so we don't necessarily need that as I say our scale hypsometer it doesn't work to 45 degrees this angle here is not 45 degrees but we're using two to one so it allows us to find a better angle so what we're going to do is we're going to go out into the field now we're actually going to show you how the hypsometer works and how you can conduct a very simple tree survey which if you're doing um, a survey of trees for a forest school for example could be really handy for noting down the size of different species of trees and then what you can do is you can find charts that will actually tell you the approximate height um, growth and the approximate um, size gain round the trunk of a tree each year and then you can calculate the age of a tree in years it's not an exact science but it will give you a good rough estimate right so I've got my hypsometer positioned and I've actually taken a quick measurement to make sure we're in roughly the right position what we do is we're going to sight from this point here what we want to do is see the top of the tree just at this point here and then we're looking for a point that we've measured here so what I've done is I've placed a small yellow flower which I can see on the trunk of the tree that is one meter up from the base of the tree so that matches this point here and then here will be the top of our tree what I'm going to do is I'm going to look down so I can see the yellow flower along this bottom stick and I can see if I look the top of the tree along this stick so what I'll do now is I'll bring the camera around so you can see what I'm sighting along the hypsometer right so what we're doing is we're now looking from our viewing point on our hypsometer so what I'm doing is I'm looking down this bottom sighting stick and you might not be able to see it because the focus isn't great if I line you up with the trunk of the tree there you go there is a little yellow flower that is looking down the sighting point and then if I bring you down to this one as you can see it brings you in with roughly the top of the tree and then our measuring point is just touching the floor and I've just tucked it into our elastic band at the bottom there so that is us sighting with our hypsometer and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pace out or use my one meter um, piece of string depending on which I feel most comfortable with I think I'm going to pace this out because my meter my steps are roughly a meter and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide my number of steps by two and that will be the rough height of our tree so we've now walked our paces across it was 27 paces which is approximately 27 meters so if we remember our hypsometer along the bottom is twice as far as up the side so we divide our distance that we've walked by two so that means that we have gone 27 meters divided by two which would bring us to 13.5 meters and that is measured one meter off the ground so we add that distance of one meter so it's almost 15 meters tall this tree now if you notice here this is our little yellow flower that I used for marking one meter up and now what I will do is I'll reposition the camera again and I'll show you how we're going to measure round our tree what I've done is I've taken my one meter piece of string and I've wrapped it around the trunk and it almost reaches round so I would say 
that this tree is approximately 104 centimeters all the way around um, maybe a little bit more maybe a little bit less but 104 105 centimeters is a good guess um, if it was bigger what I could do is I could find something to mark the tree again like our little yellow flower and then I could take a second measurement from that and mark as many times as I needed to to get all the way around so then that tells us that the circumference of our tree is just over one meter and if we divide it by three that would give us our diameter so it means that the diameter of this tree is approximately 30 centimeters about 34 centimeters and then what we can do is we can log that down in our notebook so we know that our tree has a trunk diameter of approximately um, 34 centimeters and is approximately 15 meters tall we could then take that with a chart for growth of a horse chestnut which this tree is and then we could find out exactly how tall the tree is right so I've recorded my findings in my notebook um, so just to recap again it was a 15 meter tree and it was approximately 30 centimeters um, in trunk diameter so I've had a, look on, a quick look on a chart now it says that on average a horse chestnut should grow between 30 centimeters and 60 centimeters a year um, I've got some growing in my garden in pots at the moment they don't grow that fast I don't think but based on that if we're, if we're looking at between 30 centimeters and um, 60 centimeters a year that would mean that that tree for it to grow to 30 meters for example which is twice the height it is now would take 100 years so we divide that by two that would mean that that tree is approximately 50 years old so 50 to 75 years old according to that um, chart so um, and having seen other horse chestnuts I would say that, that is a, a, an approximately a good rough estimate somewhere in the range of 50 years old so that's how we could do a very quick tree survey using nothing more or much more than our single piece of string um, with the elastic bands make sure you don't leave the elastic bands on the sticks when you put them back um, take your elastic bands with you for use next time and obviously we don't want any of the wild animals out here to catch themselves on the elastic bands I'm Tom, um, this is Woodland School. If you've liked this video, please subscribe. We've got some more coming up. Um, but hopefully you enjoyed it. Please give us any feedback. Let us know what you thought. And we hope to see you soon.